What's up, YouTube? We have been waiting weeks, literal weeks, on this one trade to play out, and that's what led to myself and the majority of my team here to post all of the profits on the trade. What trade is it, you might ask? Well, Apple, short. We have been waiting for the breakdown of this support at $174 for this entire duration, almost a month almost a month, long time. So today, straight off the day trade watch list, we had Apple as a side chart short below $174. It's a side chart because we're only looking for one thing and I wasn't sure if we were going to get it or not. 174 has been a major level of support since Apple gapped down and it has been range trading in between 180 as resistance with 174 as support. So today, I decided let's add Apple to the watch list because of the gap down. It was trading once more really close to 174. It looked good for a potential short idea. We waited about 20 minutes before the breakdown confirmed for us and a little bit beyond that to take our entry. So I want to move this to the one minute time frame and show you what we got. Opening consolidation right here. We're not trading in the first five minutes. We're not trading the chop. We're waiting to see if this is going to push topside or if it's going to fail. Now, if it did push topside and recover, we didn't have a plan to trade Apple long, right? We weren't going to take the trade on Apple long if this broke out, but we did have a plan if it broke down. And so the scenario played out perfectly. We get a breakdown of 174 right here at this trend line and decide to take the entry short on a rally. Now, this is really important. I want to talk about the entries in this video. But the breakdown here below 174, we wait for a little bit more of a breakdown to get solid confirmation. And then the entry short on a rally, on a green candle. Now, this trade is just from here, literal management. I mean, we were green from the moment that we entered the trade for the move down. Uh, we were green all the way down here. I think we were up at this point. 15%, pretty close to 15%, again, up 15%. Um, and then I wound up taking my profits three times, scaling out of the trade as it dropped into the low of day. Now, why would I take my profits at 15% here and not take my profits at 15% here or here? The reason why is because I was looking initially for a 20% gain. I wanted to see this drop further. I thought that it had potential to drop further, and it certainly did, as it as you could see here, but not at first. So the rally up, okay, I'm not sweating this trade. The move back down, I thought I was going to be able to take profits here, and then the rally back up. So this started to concern me a little bit because it looks like a double bottom pattern. So the next time that I was offered that 15% profit, I went ahead and took a little bit off of the table there just to make sure that I was locking in profits, right? I didn't want I did not want this trade to go to come back up to 174 and me watch a 15% gain trade uh, turn into a break even trade or even potentially a losing trade. So to secure some profits here on the third retest of the low of day made sense. We do get the break of low of day. I was smart enough to hold some contracts remaining to be able to scale out some more at 20% and then again at 30% into the low of day. And it was almost a bottom tick sell as we got the rally back up. Um, and this one could have maybe been another entry later on, but I was done trading by that point. So the entry on a green candle rallying back up. Before I talk about how important this is, I want to I want to review the uh, SPY trade. SPY also straight off of the day trade watch list was a, sh a short idea below $428 right? 428 is right here. We already have a trend line drawn there. So we get the push down to 428, the bounce, and then the breakthrough. Now this doesn't offer us a rally, right? Until here. So we take the entry short again, right? Notice the entry short on a green candle as this rallies back up to $428 for the move back down. We only wound up taking about a 10% gain off of this trade because the trend had uh, reversed. And the reason why I closed at 10% here was because my thought process was what? Old resistance there could potentially become new support here. And sure enough, that's what happened as this rallied back above 428. So had I not taken my profits where I did, I most likely would have been closing the trade here. So the entries, 
short on a green candle. It's going to sound so counterintuitive, but as much as possible, you want to be going short, at least for options, short on green candles. And when you're going long or buying calls, going long on red candles. So if I were to take SPY long on a bounce trade of 428, I would want to be getting, taking my position on this red candle down close to 428 rather than the uh, green candle back up. The reason why we do this is because your premium spikes. If you're trading on a candle, if you're entering on a candle that is moving in the direction that you think the stock is going to move. So you get a much better fill price if you enter against on a candle that's going against the trade that you're, the direction you're trying to go in, right? And I don't know if that's confusing or not, but basically, if I'm going long on a green candle, there's a chance that I'm overpaying on my premium because of the spike in premium. Whereas if I'm going long on a red candle, I'm getting a pretty good fill price because I'm buying the dip, all right? And this is kind of where the, the, the adage goes, you wanna you buy low, sell high or buy the dip and short the rally. So in this instance, we are shorting the rally on a green candle to get the best entry possible for the move down. And then the same is true for Apple, taking the entry short on a rally for the move down. Big congrats to the team. We finally got the breakdown on Apple. Uh, this was posted for you, by the way, on Sunday, on Instagram, on Twitter, and I even made a YouTube video breaking down this trade before it even happened. I was telling everybody, watch Apple for the break of 174. We finally get that today. And what do we do? Capitalize. So super proud of the team. Uh, that's all that I had to talk about here. Just the main point being, try to enter short on green candles and long on red candles. It's going to sound counterintuitive, but give it a try. You're going to get a lot better fill prices that way. All right. Thank you for your time. Press the like button for me if you haven't done so already. I appreciate the support. It is the best way to support this type of work that I do. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you in chat. Take care.